All right, fellas, here we are back in Pokemon Masters, and we're going to take a look here at Cygnusu Morty and Ho-Oh, because he's getting his rerun tomorrow, not, well, tomorrow when I upload this, uh, alongside his rerun of his event, The Store, uh, of Golden Future, which this is rerunning for Golden Week, which I'm has pretty sure already started, so they're kind of at the end of Golden Week, I, I think, anyway. Either way, whatever, doesn't matter too much. I mean, we're getting Cygnusu Morty, that's nice. He's a very good sync pair for sure, and he's getting himself the uh, upgrade with the Field EX roll, which is a massive upgrade for him. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be, because it's currently, like, 76 degrees sunny, uh, but that's not, that's not very hot, but it's going to get hotter, and I'm already pretty hot, so uh, it's not going to be too good. It's hotter than all the beautiful women in this game, all right? Uh, and that was very fucking cringy to say. So, whatever. Let's go ahead and, I guess, look at Morty's kit. Uh, again, for probably, like, the third or fourth time now. But either way, I mean, he's still... This guy is not... Okay, he's aged, uh, sure. But, like, he's still really good, in my opinion. He is still easily one of the top supports. Like, top 15, I would say. Easily. Probably top 10. Uh, but whatever. So, looking at his 6 direct stats, he's got 600, 600, imagine, 362 defenses, 789 health, uh, which is very good for sure, 267 speed, meager offenses, but he doesn't really care about that. Uh, and then level 150, of course, the defenses get higher, the HP gets higher, uh, and with the field EX roll now, he gets up to 881 health, which is really nice, and nearly 400 in the defenses, which is also pretty good, and uh, a speed upgrade too with 319 speed, pretty solid too. So overall, his stats are definitely good, um, even without the EX roll, of course, his stats are quite solid, 378 in the defenses, 821 health is definitely pretty nice, uh, especially with how the rest of his kit functions. Which, speaking of, he has Flame Charge, which by itself is not really that important of a move. It does have some things in the grid that make it a little bit more nice, but mostly it's just a filler move. Potions for healing, obviously really good of any support, and especially for Morty, because he is a defensive-oriented support for the most part. Uh, he's got Sunny Day. He was our first uh, Sun support. Off the top of my head, I think. Yeah, he was our first Sun support. And he's really, he was really good too, still is really good. And of course, having the Field EX roll now, he's able to set Sun on the Sync move and extend it. Meaning going for his Sync move is a lot more appetizing now other than going for just Support EX. So, uh, which generally you could just do with Neo Champion Leaf if you give her the EX roll, right? So that's nice. Uh, he's also got himself the trainer move, uh, Believe, which applies gauge acceleration and raises the defenses and speed of all allies by one. And it raises all allies crit by one when in sun. So he's got himself very good defense buffing ability and gauge management ability. He's a very great gauge support with the gauge acceleration and the speed as well. Uh, and also, of course, being able to buff offenses with the crit is also very nice too. So he can cover a lot of uh, different teams with that. He's got Group Afflictor's Advantage 1, which raises all core stats by uh, one stat rank the first time the user's Pokemon uses a status move, which will be Sunny Day. So the first time he uses a Sunny Day each battle, he'll be getting plus one to each stat. Uh, and he's also got Team Sunbathe, which restores all allies HP uh, when using when he uses a move while the weather is in sun. It's basically uh, Team Fist Bump, but in sun, which is still good, definitely. So some gradual healing. I love those uh, like healing-based abilities uh, for allies, like um, team Trash, Tank, Fist Bump, Sunbathe. I love those type of abilities where you can heal allies gradually just by getting hit or doing an action. It, I, I don't know why I always like those abilities. I, I always do. And he's got Sync Damage Guard as well, which applies Damage Guard next when the, he uses his Sync move each battle. Very good for applying extra bulk. Uh, he does not have any unique lucky skills or anything like that, but he definitely can make use, usage of a lot of them, right? Whether it be Head Start 1, Adrenaline, Vigilance, of course, you know, Mind Games, Defense, Crush, depending on your team. He's got some pretty uh, good options for lucky skills, too. Uh, and, of course, the 1 out of 5 grid uh, also is actually pretty decent with the fact that he's got a uh, train move NPR. So, you can now rely on that to get some crit buffs, some defense buffs, some speed buffs, extra gauge acceleration. Very good stuff overall in general, I would say. Uh, and I, I do like this guy's kit a lot. I, I really do like his kit. And it really just gets better and better the more you go through the grid, which, you know, generally that's how that works. But I'm talking, like, even the 2 out of 5 is good. The 3 out of 5 is good. The 4 out of 5 is good. And the 5 out of 5 is also good. This guy's... I really just adore this guy's entire entire unit, personally. Um, and even just at base, so far, like, 
he's got the ability to set sun. He's got the ability to buff defenses. Uh, he's very, of course, a defense-oriented support, so it's not like Ace Arola, who also sets sun, uh, where she's more offense-oriented and Morty is more defense-oriented. Of course, Ace Arola also does have the gimmick of applying uh, extra healing when in grassy terrain for all allies, so that kind of does neutralize sunbathe because they both eff effectively do the same thing. Uh, but then also consider Morty has potions as well as buffing all stats instead of just physical stats and, uh, I guess, a little bit of speed in Ace Roll's case. Uh, Morty's able to buff defenses in speed and crit, uh, as well as buff offenses by, I mean, plus one. Plus one something, right? Because most most relevant uh, units that you're going to apply uh, with Morty, or you're going to bring with Morty, can buff their offenses. I don't think they're... There is very, very few units in this game that do not buff, like, their offensive stat by any, like, amount. One of them's, like, Will, who just copies enemy stats, right? So, of course, there's some gimmicks there. But just point being, 90% of the game has, like, at least, like, X attack or X special attack or some method of buffing their offenses by whatever method. Uh, so, so just keep that in mind. Him not buffing offenses is not really that big of a deal. Uh, of course, you know, it does re rely on more time to buff stats, but I do think that's kind of worth it with what else Morty's able to apply, especially with how defensive he is, right? With his pretty good defensive stats, the defense buffing ability, the potions, Team Sunbathe for gradual healing to allies, Sync Damage Guard for his own tanking ability, right? He's still got some pretty solid defensive ability. Uh, and this is just a 1 out of 5. And of course, again, the sun is probably the biggest thing for him. And setting sun and extending it with the field EX roll is a great thing as well. Very good for any real fire core. Because generally, Morty is going to be your support anyway. Considering fire doesn't really need too many buffs. I mean, of course, you could run something like Acerola for like, you know, uh, Gloria here. Or maybe May. You know, these physical attacking fire types. But really, Morty works not just as well, but he works effectively too. Uh, because the his survivability uh, enabling better survivability for the team can be found to be more valuable than the extra damage that acerola can provide not i'm not saying Mor morty's better than acerola but i'm just saying that there are reasons that you could run morty as your in your support slot over acerola for some fire teams and make it work at least realistically uh, especially like when you're facing thornton the ultimate battle versus thornton uh where you really do want those defensive abilities, right? Like, the, the ultimate battles have really made a lot of defensive supports go up in value. Like, or Cynthia is really good, Neo Champion Blue is really good, which he would have been good outside of that, or Cynthia would have been quite good outside of that either way. But both of their defensive abilities is really making them look a lot better uh, in those game modes. Morty really gained a buff. Cygnus Suit Mina fucking climbed the ladder. Like, she was good before, but she has gone up so much simply due to the existence of ultimate battles and all of the things that she can do to try and counteract them and be just a really good defensive support in general. And that's really what Rare Morty shines to as well. Like Against Thornton, you can run s pretty much any fire uh, units underneath him as a support, and you can really make it work. Like Neo Champion Leaf, Cygnus Suit Hilda, I don't know about Cygnus Suit May simply because of how she functions. You could probably make Cygnus Suit May work, but it really just depends on where your third slot is. Silver's a good partner. I'm pretty... Am I, I? No, it's Leaf, right? Yeah, I, I know there's a setup where you can utilize Morty, Leaf, and Silver and beat uh, Double Ho -Oh and beat the Thorn Ultimate Battle. I mean, obviously, you know, Mix Blue, Leon, Sigma Suit Red. I mean, there's just so many different. Fi All the fire types benefit so much from Morty's existence. Uh, it just, just in general, like. Morty is an easy go to support for fire types. Like, is he the best support for all of these characters? No, probably not. But you still can make so much utilization of him in so many different teams, especially when relating to fire types. Uh, he's always my go-to, personally, and he's never really disappointed. Uh, going to the grid at 2 out of 5, he gets Dashing Team 9 on Flame Charge, Speeding Sun, Sunny Disposition, Natural Remedy, Quick Cure, Sunny Day MPR, Potion Master Healer, Friend Care, and Friend Mend. I think the only bad thing about his 2 out of 5 is that he just doesn't get Potion MPR. Everything else is good, like Natural Remedy and Quick Cure to get rid of status conditions and status changes the first time they're applied. It's pretty good for any gauntlet battle in any stage that may set, like, Poison or Burn or something at random. Like, you know, looking out for uh, the stray burns from Annabelle and whatnot, that type of thing. Uh, maybe Duroc as well. Whatever. Uh, he's got Sunny Disposition to prevent stat debuffs when in Sun. Also very nice. That's also very nice. I mean, not much else needs to be said there. I uh, just guaranteed to keep your stat buffs for your defenses so you can continue to tank like a god right speeding sun already makes the gauge 
his this is just not necessary because your gauge is going to be looking like the apple cup for the most part that's mostly a joke but like he's got gauge acceleration and speed buffs already the gauge is gonna be fine you don't need speeding sun too it, this is so damn unnecessary and it's not like that's a node that many people look to anyway but maybe it could be good for you know a, a duo or sorry a solo or a duo or something against a legendary arena with morty maybe but really i think you want three to five or higher for that anyway uh, dashing team on flame charge is very good this means you don't have to rely on trying to move npr to get speed buffs for the team this is where flame charges usability outside of just being a you know move to pass the gauge or pass the sync countdown uh this is where that move comes in to be more useful than just doing that uh, you're able to buff team speed without having to worry about trying to move npr or you know group flickers advantage so you can have better consistent speed buffing with that which is nice uh, and then all the potion stuff here, Master Healer, Friend Mend, uh, targeting an ally, removing the status conditions, and then also removing status changes with Friend Care. These are pretty nice as well. I mean, it does kind of remove the necessity. I, I want to say it does remove the necessity for natural and quick cure, but also you may not want to use the potion on Morty early because that's kind of a waste, especially because the 2 out of 5 doesn't have NPR, so you may not want to waste it there. But I mean, either way, you know, decent enough abilities to get rid of poison, trap, flinch, uh, confusion, paralysis, burn, whatever. Get rid of all that stuff. Uh, and then Sunny Day NPR, of course, is a really good node. I mean, the best nodes that you're going to be getting at uh, 2 out of 5 is probably Trainer Move NPR, which, of course, that's at 1 out of 5, so... You know, not that big of a deal. Probably train, uh, training with NPR, uh, Flame Charge, Dashing Team 9, and then Sunny Day NPR as well. At this point, I would just sacrifice the Friend Mend and Friend Cure and whatever else. And if you need one of those things, then just pick it. Pick up whichever one you really need, you know? I mean, still, it's only minus 6 energy. That'll be a 3 to 5, but still, it's whatever. So... I, I think he does have a good 2 out of 5, too. The Sunny Day NPR is really massive. Uh, training Move NPR, just a 1 out of 5, is really good, too, in, com uh, in conjunction with that. The Dashing Team 9 on Flame Charge is very nice for uh, better gauge consistently as consistency as well. Also, all just very nice stuff. And then Master Healer, too. So, very nice 2 out of 5. 3 out of 5, he gets Adrenaline 1, Team Gimme 5, 1, Sunbathe 9, Vigilance, uh, Team Bracing Team Body Bracing Infliction 2, Team Mind uh, Bracing Infliction 2, uh, and then Potion Master Healer and NPR again. So yay, he's actually got one node of Potion NPR, which is good for sure. Uh, and he's also got another node of Sunbathe. Uh, this is, of course, only for him, but this does make it a lot more consistent for him to not have to utilize potions on himself. This means you could use potions on your allies, because Sunbathe activates whenever Morty does any action. It can be Morty or Ho-Oh, whichever one, it does not matter. Anything that Morty does while under Sun will be making a utilization of Sunbathe, and you will get that healing, and you'll get Team Sunbathe activated as well for extra healing all on that front, which is just great. So that's awesome. Uh, Sunbathe 9, Team Sunbathe 9, very good stuff. He's also got Team Gimme 5 1, Raising Ally. All ally stats by 1 on the Sync move. This is effect effect afflictively. This is effectively Group Afflictor's Advantage 1, but for the Sync move, right? So you get yourself plus uh, 1 in all core stats here, and plus 1 in all core stats here as well. So if you need uh, extra offensive buffing, really, is what this is most useful for, or if you need faster speed slash defensive buffing, this could be a decent note to pick up. Uh, though I think you're mostly only going to pick it up in case if you like want adrenaline, which adrenaline on sync moves good. You could just run uh, run as a lucky skill though, and just pick up vigilance here, or you could just of course ignore vigilance uh, if you don't think that you need it, which of course is always fair too. So that's nice. Uh, I think something like this, if you want to pick up that, it's fine. Uh, minus forty five grid energy. Let's go because of all this. Uh, team body bracing infliction and mind bracing infliction raising defenses and special defensive allies by two the first time the user's Pokemon uses a status move so sunny day again uh, this does effectively mean that uh, upon using sunny day you will be getting plus three in uh, the defensive stat right because of group reflectors advantage as well uh, so if you want very fast defensive buffs this is the way to do it but if you feel that you know you don't need those fast defensive buffs you can rely on you know the training of NPR you can rely on team give me five or something uh, then of course these nodes are not all that impactful and i can definitely see you know skipping those which is definitely valid for sure uh, and then of course he's got potion npr and master healer just to you know round out all the potion stuff uh should you need that morty's grid uh the one thing that it suffers from is i have too much syndrome where he has so much good stuff in his grid that you it's practically impossible to pick it all up because like if you were to uncap grid energy of course you just pick up everything but like literally all of these nodes would have value 
And look at the, look at that. 80, negative 87 energy. Literally all of these nodes would have a lot of value to them. Also, hold on, let me, let me not forget, trying to move NPR. So 94 energy in the negatives, right? Uh, it really just depends on what you're fighting, uh, on what you would want to give Morty uh, in the grid. I would say, especially because com combined with the fact that he's now got the field DX role, Sunny Day NPR is great. Maybe not necessary, but still great. Uh, it's great. Um, and you could also, of course, combine his combine his field DX role with units that set sun, like Mix Blue, who is very good at setting sun. You've got new champion Leaf, right, with her drought alert for sun extension. I think she sets sun the first time she uses her buddy move here. She sets sun on the same move with Solar Sync. So there's a lot of different ways for the team to set up Sun with these units. There's Silver, of course, who also has uh, Solar Eyes. There's a lot of different ways to set Sun. So there may not be too much necessity in actually giving Morty Sunny Day NPR. But of course, you know, maybe there's a setup where you do want Sunny Day NPR just for the team building aspect. I would say Mind and Body Bracing Infliction are something you're never going to really be able to pick up simply because of a lack, simply because other nodes are better. Uh, I think Potion NPR is always going to be something you're want, going to want to go for in at least one Master Healer here. I would probably say this is what you want to go for. Uh, and then the rest really just depends on what you want. Do you want more healing for Morty so he doesn't have to potentially waste as many potions on himself? Then you could pick up Sunbathe, right? Do you want more sun? Maybe you could pick up Sunny Day that way. Uh, do you want to maybe skip out on that and just go for uh, Team Gimme 5, giving you better defenses without having to worry about maybe picking up Training with NPR, which you also probably do want to pick up anyway. So, I mean, there's that grid. Yeah, there's that grid you can pick up here for trying to move uh, NPR. This is minus two energy. This is minus one energy. Doesn't really fucking matter. Uh, so yeah, there you go. I mean, there you go. I, this is probably a grid I would run. I don't. Team Gimme Five is really if I just want to like max out my offenses and I don't want to rely on trying to move NPR for defensive buffs. Though really, I mean, what else are you gonna do other than use the train move in Sunny Day and occasional potions? So, mm. but again, also again, that just may rely too much on train move NPR for your taste. It just is. It's completely up to how you want to run Morty. He's got a lot of different things he can do. He can buff the offenses in a very minor way with Team Gimme 5, uh, sorry, Team Gimme 5 1 and the Group Afflictors Advantage 1. He can also be a very good defensive support and very fast at buffing defenses with those same abilities, plus Mind and Body Bracing Infliction. Uh, he's got Training of NPR to also max out those things in a slower way, uh, max out Crit 2 with this ability. Potion stuff if you really want a lot of good healing for him. Sunbathe if you want Morty to be very self-sufficient in his healing. He can also run Vigilance in case you want to run something else as a lucky skill, but you still need the crit defense, right? So, again, just the point is, there's a lot you can do with Morty. There's a lot of good ways you can run this unit, uh, and that all it all makes a lot of sense. 4 out of 5 against Training with Critical Squad and Sunny Day Team Hit and Heal. T sunny Day Team Hint and Heal, brother, this is effectively just another note of Team Sunbathe, but of course, obviously, you know, that only activates when the allies use a move and it has to do the Pokemon using a move. There's caveats to that, of course, right? But still, like, it's another form of gradual healing. They The allies get gradual healing, Morty still has Team Sunbathe, and he's still got potions, he's still got defense buffing, right? He's still got so much ability to buff ally healing that it's it's still insane. It, training with Hidden Heal is still really good. Or Sunny Day Team Hidden Heal is really good. And of course, this activates every time you use Sunny Day. So if you want to just use, utilize it for applying gradual healing, then, well, you can. And then Training with Critical Squad is well buffing ally crit when the move is successful. This makes it so you do not rely on Sun in order to buff ally crit. Could be very good for the start of battle where you may not have a way of having uh, Sun up, right? Because you may, not, you may want to save your Sunny Day NPRs until post sync a while post sync till your sun starts to run out or maybe you just again you don't want to waste your sun right so picking up trying to move uh, critical squad is good for that and of course also if you were to have sun up early on in the battle and you want to buff crit this will then buff ally crit by two so you've got faster crit buffing too so there's a lot of good ways to make utilization of that as well uh whether you want sun up or whether you don't want sun up it's going to be a useful ability and then 5 out of 5 gets Endurance, which at this point with everything that he has to stay alive, I don't think Endurance is that crazy. I probably just would never pick it up for the fact that it's hard to get to. Uh, but Sunburst, you know, setting weather when he enters a battle each battle, or setting sun when he enters a battle uh, each battle, that's very good too. 
<laughs> setting sun on entry just means that he can then start buffing ally crit with his trainer move you may have you, you could probably skip out on critical squad without much issue or of course you could pick it up again for just faster crit buffing though i personally don't recommend that uh, and then you'll be having sun up for most of the starting battle uh, it'll go down by your first sync move morty will use his sync move the field x roll will apply sun and then sun will be back up and it'll be extended and then you you, you have not wasted a single sunny day npr this means you probably don't have to run sunny uh, day npr but of course maybe you could just i also do think that uh this is uh, a little bit invalidated by the fact that you could just straight up run sunny day npr which is right above it so sunburst is good in theory maybe if it was placed in a different area and also maybe not locked to five out of five uh, because really sunny day npr kind of invalidates sunburst because it's literally the cheapest way to get to sunburst so you would just pick up sunny day npr use sun on the first turn apply the train move once or twice and then you've got the same exact buffs you use the sync move sun's extended again it's effectively the same thing uh, but also you may have to worry about obviously sun going down on your sync move which will then have an enemy cue the move preventing quad cues maybe that forces you to run adrenaline or some other method of sync countdown limiting team building a little bit but really that's just that might be a mostly minor thing uh so i mean either way i don't think sunburst is that crazy i think really morty's best area is probably four out of five but of course five out of five is good too i, th I still think that the sunburst does have its small uses and it can be good in that area and of course obviously three to five just in general is still really really good and a very good stopping point for anyone who wants to you know candy morty to a certain move level i think morty at different move levels all he still does stuff extremely well one out of five is still extremely good like train of npr with the defensive buffing uh or, sorry defensive maxing potential uh, also crit as well gauge acceleration speed buffs he still has a good bit of sun with sunny day plus the field the x roll if you invest into him with that he still got himself the group afflictors advantage the team sunbathe sink damage guard two out of five he gets even more with the team speed buffing the sunny day npr potion master healer for better healing three out of five he gets you know team gimme five adrenaline vigilance sunbathe uh body and mind bracing infliction uh, as well as potion npr for better healing four to five you get critical squad uh and training move hit and heal for even more healing plus plus a uh, crit uh crit buffing without having to rely on having sun up and then five out of five you get endurance and sunburst meaning you don't have to waste sunny and uh, sunny day mprs or whatever in order to have sun up but really i don't think there's going to be any battle that you realistically need more than three uses of sun so personally i just pick up sunny day mpr but either way all, all of Morty's tiles are good for the most part. Like, this guy's absurd. If they were to ever increase the uh, grid energy again to be able to be, like, 20 or 30, which, I know, that sounds crazy, I Morty would be a unit I would be eyeballing first, simply for the fact that, like, this guy, just he can do so much. And even just a 5 out of 5, you can make a lot of use, utilization of the extra 10 grid energy, right? Like, again, maybe you want to go for Critical Squad. Maybe you want those crit buffs early on. Maybe you want Sunny Day NPR. You want Trainer of NPR. You want Potion Master Healer. There you go, right? We're already at minus six energy here. And then at that point, you can just find another thing that costs maybe four energy. Uh, maybe, like, Sunny S Speeding Sun if you just really want extra gauge. Whatever, right? And also, again, you could just not pick up Critical Squad. Maybe pick up something like Endurance. Maybe pick up Mind, uh, mind Bracing or body bracing or sun, even sunburst i guess trainer uh, sunny day team hit and heal whatever it may be you can definitely pick up like even something no okay 11 energy screw you <laughs> fuck you morty <laughs> whatever i mean and also you could just pick up potion npr again or, sorry master healer again if you just want those extra uh healing points Morty's insane. That, that's all I really gotta say. I mean, Morty's just insane to me. I mean, he's still really good, surprisingly, for the fact that he's literally, at this point, two years old. This unit is still as good as he is. I mean, he's aged gracefully, I would say very gracefully, especially with the grid tiles being, uh, sorry, fair tiles being pretty good for him. Uh, even the, the buff to the necessity of having defensive supports now also has been a great buff to him. It's not like defensive supports are, uh, uber okay well they're all they are all uber top tier so i guess i can't even say that much defensive supports have just been have upgraded so much since morty's like release they've been so much more of like a, a necessary thing to bring i guess just for the simple fact that like all of the game modes have just started hitting harder 3000 point stadium means you're picking up more attack power more strength whatever ultimate battles all hit really hard right so those defensive abilities those healing abilities are all extremely valuable defensive supports have been a lot more uh 
quote unquote required now more than ever uh, way better uh, way more than back when morty released when offense was still the big thing right like back when morty released setting weather via a uh, via, from a support was unheard of for the most part it was just ingo i think that did it so having a support like morty that now does it or then did it he was like the second instance and then cygnus to chris uh with her great abilities months later was still good back on release and even now despite the fact that setting like a weather trainer zone as a support is not that crazy like we literally just got rika a week ago right <laughs> it's still still so good now it's still something that is extremely good and extremely useful despite being pretty much par for the course because morty has aged so well due to his great defensive abilities on top of being able to set sun and synergizing extremely well with all the top sun uh top sorry fire sync pairs like mixed blue neo champion leaf Sigisu hilda and whatnot so yeah that's all i gotta say i still think Sigisu morty is really good I don't know what I'm going to do with my Morty. I'm going to give him the Field DX role and I'll do a showcase, but I'm really not sure if I'm going to 3 out of 5 him or not. I have been thinking about 3 out of 5 4 out of 5 or even 5 out of 5 that unit for so damn long, but I still just have no idea if I'm ever going to do it. I may, maybe in the mix scout, right? Like maybe in the mix scout, if I ever get an extra copy, I'll just say screw it and give him the extra copies. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out, I guess. But whatever. I'll see y'all later. I hope y'all enjoyed. Good luck if you're going to be summoning for Sigma Suit Morty. I do think he's a very valuable unit to pick up. Probably one of the most valuable banners uh, to go for this month. If you do not have him, I would say probably number two or three. I would still think that the triple banner with uh, Skyla Howe and uh, Hilbert is probably better. But hey, that's just my thoughts. Whatever. I'll see y'all later. I hope y'all enjoyed. Good luck on your summons. Good luck on your savings. Later.